Hey, good morning everyone and welcome back to Small Land. Check out the sunrise that I got up here. So I have made my way all the way over to this area here. I'm gonna go investigate this King Stag Beetle. I don't think we'll quite be able, oh, hello there. That we'll quite be able to uh, defeat him just yet. I think we'll need the iron tools for that. And in order to get the iron tools, we need the forge and for that we need clay. And I think the clay must be over here because I haven't seen it before. Also, there should be Big lizards, oh, and big grasshoppers too? Are you just a regular grasshopper? Oh, no, he's a, a lubber, whatever that is. Uh, so, and there's bark here too, so there might be some other interesting resources. When I was looking at the map, there's this kind of like mangrove looking swamp here, but this looks like just kind of like regular area. So let's do some exploring out here. Also, there's a whole bunch of ruins out here. There, There's ruins, oh, it's like a big staircase. Look at that. Who's this? Oh, oh. What, what are you, anyway? You- oh, I found the clay! Oh, just a stag beetle. Have I- have I seen you before? Oh, jeez! Ow! Vulnerable to blunt. Yeah, I kind of want to get, like, the iron hammer. That's the, uh, the one that I really think we'll need for, uh, beetle killing, you know? Whoa, jeez! Alright, let's see how tough he is to kill. Uh, pretty tough. Wow, okay. That was just two hits, and I've done, like, maybe 5% damage. Also, now that I'm thinking about it, we're gonna need to uh, set up some kind of an outpost over here to repair gear and whatnot, so that we don't damage our stuff too much. Okay, I took him out. Ooh, that was close, too. What do we got here? Heavy chitin beetle. Oh, six heavy chitin. Holy crap, that's a lot. It's also very good because we're gonna be needing some of that here. Just take some bandages and, um, yeah, have some, have some red jerky, I guess. Okay, what do we got here for harvestables? We have saplings. We need, yeah, we need the resin so that we can make the workbench. Workbench down, and very quickly then, repair my gear before it gets too far away from us. There we go. Jeez, I just realized, unfortunately, maybe I should just break this down and take it with us, right? Because uh, we get all the materials back, don't we? Yeah, dismantle, and that should have been everything. Okay, that's actually much, much better because that beetle's gonna respawn here and we don't want our workbench to be there and get destroyed. All right, the next thing to do is to harvest up some of this clay. I'm hoping I have the right tool for it. I just kind of imagined it would be a pickaxe and it does appear to be. And there we go. Okay, ooh, stone building materials. Probably should, we should just get some stone while we're out here. Wow, all kinds of stone building materials. Basically everything, you can make everything out of plant, wood, or stone, it would appear. Oh, also just got a recipe for a clay bandage, which might be better than the honey bandage thing that I use now. And there it is, the clay mortar at the windmill. Go, oh, get another one of these guys. Let's see if I've warmed up at all since I started. Finally, good weather. Let's see how long it lasts for. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it five minutes, if that. Okay, he's down. And if we keep having encounters like that, we're gonna have to be really diligent about building workbenches and repairing our gear after every encounter, basically. Definitely one of my gripes about the game is that uh, things degrade just a little bit too quickly. Oh, geez, I just saw. There it is. That's the thing, the lizard. The lizard that will give us the lizard claw. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I'm stuck in, uh, stuck in crouch. I can't get out of crouch. There we go. Okay, well, we have to kill one of these guys before we go. Hopefully, he'll give us also, like, the herptile leather and stuff. All right, let's see what he's vulnerable to, though. Edged, perfect, because we have the axe, but we gotta get some sneak damage in on him, too. There we go. Oh, yeah, he's pretty tough, isn't he? Yep. All right, one more strike on this guy. Yep, yeah, pretty, pretty manageable, especially since I have the uh, proper weapon for the battle. Come on back down here. There we go. Whoop. One more. And he's down. That will give us Herptile Hide 5, Lizard Claw, and Bone. And I'm kind of burning right through my bandages already, but that's what I brought him for. So here's a fun little trick. I can just basically jump and glide. Jump and glide, and it's a much faster way of transportation oh there's like a like a little fountain up here i guess and surrounded by bees but otherwise i don't know if i see anything up here that i think is really worth fighting for oh look at that there's like a pine forest over there is that oh that's like off the map okay so uh we've explored the fountain here let's kind of like circle the coast and kind of see where this king stag beetle is and then see what's kind of up in the north here and then we'll kind of make our plans, go back home, get the iron tools crafted, and then we'll head back and kill the King Stag Beetle. That's the uh, end goal for the episode and for the series, because allegedly he has the walnut chest key amulet thing around his neck or attached to him somehow. And that is what we're looking for. Whoa, massive clay deposit here. I think I only really needed to, uh, 20 or so of it. Oh man, we've got 
two beetles up here. Here he comes. Oh yeah, resistant to the piercing for sure. Some of my attacks, they seem to do more, like you get the red indicator. I wonder if there's a certain time or a certain area or if that's just like a, you know, a random critical damage hit. Down, and it's approaching nightfall. Maybe let's just get a uh, workbench down here. And that way we don't have to worry about doing repairs because yeah, it's kind of getting away from me there. And just leave that there, we got one more to kill. Nope, it's getting down to the wire. I'm getting sloppy here and yeah, there we go. <laughs> As I go along, I get more and more frustrated and <laughs> just uh, taking my chances too much. All right, one more repair, dismantle, and let's move out. Oh, geez, yep, okay, now everything's attacking me. Yeah, this is not, not a good place to be. Let's get the heck out of here. I'm getting paranoid now that I've realized I don't have a bed out here anywhere. So, get a bed down, basically, that that will do. Anywhere is fine, essentially. Okay, we're getting toward the Kingstag Beetle. There's so much more to explore up there into like the northern stretch, too. Huh. I wonder if we can kind of make it full circle all the way back home. And it's really going to be too dark to see much, so I think I'll just kind of uh, skip my way forward there. No more fighting, just just running now. Go, oh, jeez. Oh my god, two beetles and a freaking hornet are after me. This is bad. And I'm poisoned. Run! Oh my god, it's lights. Is this a, is this a, um, a friendly person? Oh no, candles. Ah, uh, that would be the King's Dag Beetle. Oh, jeez. Okay, I've just managed to jump off a cliff. I, I'm pretty sure that was the King's Dag Beetle. I, I, I don't know that for sure, but holy crap, I think I'm at safety now. Yeah, because I think I wandered right up into his cave there. Oh, what is that out there? Oh no, storm is approaching and it's freaking dark out. Oh, crap. Yeah, okay, here it is. We're going to be taking damage here pretty soon, I think, unless... Yeah, no, I'm cold. Cold and starting to take some damage. I did take a bandage though, and I healed up a little bit. Okay, the the clouds have dissipated. It's going back to normal, I think. Whoops, getting chased by a regular gecko here. And I didn't see a way to get up there. There might be like a tunnel here where that King's Egg Beetle was, because that was kind of underground. That might lead up to that, because otherwise I didn't see a way to get up there. I'm gonna head, I think I can get across the lake here. And I'm going to head back home. All right, I made it back to the base, and we're going to put down the forge here somewhere. <laughs> Real estate is at an absolute premium around here. That's okay. We'll just start kind of expanding outside a little bit. No big deal. Oh, iron chest. That would be lovely. Although, iron is, like, super hard to get. All right, well, let's look at the uh, recipes here. We're going to need probably iron hammer. I'd also like to get the, the new bow... Iron Morning Star. That's also blunt. Oh, blunt or pierce. Yeah, and there's no like spear option. So, okay, for piercing damage, we'll use the bow. For uh, edge damage, we'll do the scythe. For blunt damage, we'll do uh, the hammer. It's going to start off with iron though. Lots and lots of iron, which means I'll have to make a farming trip back out into this region over here, the Greylands, to harvest up a bunch of that. And so this is the part where I went all the way out to the Greylands and I mined and mined and mined until I had plenty of iron. And then I also fought a bunch of cockroaches and I think I'm getting kind of good at it. I'm figuring out how to uh, just roll properly so that I can get hits in more quickly after the roll. And then a storm approached, so I had to seek shelter again in some random culvert, which was uh, also occupied by a friggin' beetle. And then under the cover of darkness and rain, I made my way back home. And then we're back home. So let's get to crafting. Probably most importantly, we're gonna have to start off with charcoal and then iron ingots. Basically all the iron ingots I can get. Oh, look at this. So if I get the iron hammer and the iron scythe, that's an even 20 ingots. I just need fiber string and eight refined wood. All right, let's do this. Give me the good stuff. It's gonna be iron hammer. The Iron Scythe. So that means that the Chitin Axe can go away. And uh, Spider out here is just doing some work on the local ant population. And my stuff is really far gone right now. But I can repair it with a little bit of Chitin. I don't need to do that because I'm not going to be using that axe anymore. Okay, and last thing before I go. There was... Well... There's the cooking station. I haven't built that yet. Like the advanced cooking thing. Let's see here. Yep, stone oven. And, oh jeez. Why is everything so big? Uh, I can't even squeeze it in there. Can I squeeze it in the other room over here? Not likely. Alright, let's go outside then. Man, you've... Uh, 
uh, you have to build a really big base in this game. Right, so can we do anything like, uh, yeah, these caramelized heads? Because these, these are pretty good. Does anything give me, like, uh, any sort of a special bonus or no? All right, I've gathered up everything. Let's see what we can cook here. Oh, uh, nothing. Because, oh, we don't have any honey crumbles because I turned them all into bandages. And flour. Well, I can make a little bit of flour, I think. I cannot, I don't have enough seeds. Are you kidding me? I gathered up all this stuff and I can't make a single thing? Oh, jeez. Well, in that case, I'm gonna put everything away and I've, I'm just gonna roll with, um, you know, the red jerky and the stuff I have been rolling with. A lot easier to make. I am heading south. Let's pull up the map here. We need to go same route we crossed right here before, so we'll just aim to go right through there, up to the King Stag Beetle, slay that. Excuse me. Try out the new scythe here. Ooh, I'm liking that. Oh, let's check out the hammer too, because that's probably big. Ooh. <laughs> oh, nice. Got some weight to it. Yeah, I think basically the um, the beetles are pretty much the biggest threat to me. No matter where you are, it's always beetles. The reptiles don't seem to be quite as bad. And also, you know, the bees and stuff. But, um, you know, we'll just have to make do with what we got on the bees. Yep, try to avoid the water if we can. Shouldn't be a problem here with the gliding armor. Oh, jeez. Oh, got ambushed. I was just turning around to fight this gecko and that uh, beetle there came out of nowhere. So, yeah, take care of that guy first and we'll test out the hammer. Okay, it's, it's doing a lot better. Oh, I am not doing very good though. Oh my god, okay. Jeez. About to die, about to die. Keep rolling, duck and roll. Jeez, I can't get a break here. Okay, his attack speed is just really, really, really high right now. That's just not good for me. Oh, bad. Back to the beach, back to the beach, retreat. Okay, attempt number two then. Maybe get a sneak attack in on him, if I can. I cannot. Okay, that's what the problem is. I'm rolling too quickly, I think. Yeah, okay, working much better now. Okay, I'm noticing with the hammer that I don't have much of like a combo attack. Combo's not really working for me. Oh, there we go. Phew, okay, that does not bode very well for the King Stag Beetle. What we need to do is make sure we're stocking up on materials so we can get a workbench and like a mini camp out here. We need a forward operating base. Okay, I got a bunch of resources and I've decided on this spot here for our camp. Oh, no, no, this bad spot. Okay, where was I? <laughs> yes, we're selecting a site for camp. This looks pretty good over here. Where's this gonna be going? Uh, this is gonna go on like way over here into these ruins and uh, where we're heading is like into these ruins or whatever this is over here. So yeah, this would be a good spot for a camp. Uh, first of all, bed. And then secondly, a workbench, but uh, it's being a little finicky. How about there? I guess I can have both of them in the same spot. And I did collect us up some clay so that we should be able to make a clay bandage. That's three, it's just as good actually as the uh, healing patch. That's a bonus. Okay, this is it. Let's top off on food. Got plenty of food. We're good on everything else. All right, we're heading in. Just up here, around and into the King Stag Beetle's lair. Which the last time I did this was kind of just like right over here on the left. Yeah, this feels about right because there's the two regular stag beetles here on the side. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I've got to fight both of these guys to kind of clear this area out, don't I? Yeah! Oh, jeez, you scared the crap out of me, my god! Okay, I've also got a bee on me. That's bad. This is exactly what happened last time. I just got forced out of here by a bunch of random friggin' monster creatures. Yep, I guess this will be the true test here. We gotta fight two of these guys at once. Okay, make that maybe three. Oh, jeez. Well, if I'm lucky, I can maybe hit two at once. I'm stuck in the frickin' aloe vera plant. Ah, goodbye. Let's just land on this one. That's a great landing spot. Okay, the new strategy is going to be kill the bee first. Come on, just fight. Just, just chop until he's dead. Ah, jeez, what a process. All right, the beetles are next. Hopefully they haven't healed up too much since I left them. Yeah, he's fully healed. Okay, I might have actually successfully pulled him without aggroing his friend. Oh, I did 73 damage with my power attack. Oh, if I could just make a habit out of that, that would be nice. Find out how to do that without getting snapped afterwards. Oh, nice. One more. Got him. Yep, he's fully healed. But I'm confident in my new hammer abilities. 
Down. Oh, that was much better. Starting to get the hang of it. That's good. <laughs> Just in time for the big boss, which by my reckoning was directly in this cave. Might just see if I can get another like backup. Ba oh, building not allowed here. I'll have to back up until building's allowed. Right here. Active spawn point. Also workbench again to repair my gear. Just in time again, because that was pretty roughed up. And here we go. This is it. The final battle. There he is. Yes, he's a red king stag beetle. And he's got the special amulet on him, I think. Man, this is a very tight quarters battle here. Well, I'm feeling like I'm as ready as I could possibly be. I guess we'll just start with an arrow. Two, three, however many he'll take before he starts coming after me. Here we go. Get the hammer out. Here we go. Oh, it's really hard to get close enough to him because of his massive mandibles. There we go. Oh, that hurt. He's just a big version of a regular stag beetle, so it's the same strategy. Ow. So far, I haven't seen any sort of special attacks that he has. Ah. He is hurting me real bad, though. Okay, I'm about three quarters of the way there. Struggling with stamina. Also hurting kind of bad now. It's you or me, buddy. Come on. Got him. There's the amulet right there, the ancient clover seal. I've got the key. Wow, that was not so bad at all. I'm actually glad we got the iron tools though, because that helped out tremendously. And that's my first blunt weapon, actually. The uh, the hammer that we have right now. And so, what is back here? Because this, oh, did I just seriously come in through the back door? Because this definitely feels like the front entrance over here. Or, nope. This is just a big cliff here. Over to a door over there. Huh, okay, so maybe that's, this is not all connected like I thought it was. I want to explore over there before we go back home to the Elder to turn in the key. All right, here we go. It looks to be a little entrance right here. This could just be like a bug entrance kind of thing. Looks like it is. I don't think this is the place for me to go. All right, I'm just gonna do a lap around whatever structure this is. Maybe see if there's a way for me to get on top of it and uh, we'll take it from there. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, oh geez, I'm not confident in uh, flying my way over there. Not in the slightest. All right, now let's just have some fun with the grapple. Haven't used that for a while because I should be able to just do things like that. Uh, yeah, it's not... Maybe just take some practice. Grapple that. It's too far away. Oh, nope. I got it. Kind of. Maybe. And then grapple that. Oh, jeez. Ah, I killed myself. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, I should spawn relatively close by here. Yeah, right here. And I can repair my stuff while I'm right here. So we know now that the grapple gun is super dangerous. <laughs> Be careful. Make sure I got the... Uh, I'm ready to use my wings, you know? There it is. Yeah, like it never even happened. Right, so what I was trying to do is like jump and then grab and then grab. Here we go. Oh, it's, um, it's, oh, geez, I did it again. I just fell. Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really know the utility in that. More harm than good, if you ask me. Whatever that ruin is up there is, um, is a mystery, I guess. I, I can't think of a way. I can't find a way to get up in there. Okay, here we go. Coming up on the Elder's house. Hey, bud. Long time no see. All right. Elder, I believe I have found the Clover Key. And I need to retrieve the Elixir of Life. Oh, the Elixir of Life is in the chest the whole time. Insert the key. Ooh, fancy. Look at this. Oh, that's a, that's a scroll. Uh, he said Elixir. Maybe this is like a recipe? That's pretty cool. Oh, the key just vanished. Kind of concerning there. Okay, healing potion recipe. Oh, half. Where's the other half? Well, the other half's probably in that ruin that I couldn't get into back at the other side of the island. Okay, I have opened the chest. It had the scroll. A scroll? Where is the elixir of life? Okay, yes, so he's confused too. It's written in the old tongue. He sent word to Teodric. So where can I find him? He is in the giant's ancient sanctuary in the ruins. And that is not available in the early access version of the game. And so I shall await his return. And I did get the damselfly treat, which is the dragonfly uh, to tame the dragonfly. Thank you, Elder. 
will do. And with that, my friends, that's basically our first look at small land as far as we can go. I would consider coming back in if they add some more to the story because I am curious to see what's in the ruins over there. But this is where I'm going to have to leave it here with the iron tools that we have and pretty much the best armor, if you ask me, the flying armor. I think there is some more armor you can craft. There's Dristana up there. There's some stuff that we haven't explored up there. There are a couple of other boss creatures that we haven't yet encountered. I think there's maybe two, but uh, we've done the gist of it. So anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a playthrough. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.